Hey, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who has taught me this truth. I want to give a plea, peace and blessings to the Akim across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth and risk their life to do so. A quick video I'm going to get into. Um, basically, um, is the reward of the elect and the one third for doing his work and turning away the world um, to do this work. You know, uh, you know, coming into the truth, it is hard at first. And it gets harder, but it's hard to deal with certain things at first, you know, to understand that, you know, you can't indulge in in this world like you used to. You know, you can't, you know, you can't do the things that you used to do, you know, that whatever you did, you know, whether it was things uh, that please the uh, flesh, whether it was things that uh you did you know, in his world that, you know, would have got you, you know, fame and, and things of that nature, you know, got you to sell out and things of that nature. You know, you can't really indulge, you can't indulge in those type of activities, you know, and for some men, you know, that that can be a challenge and it's truth, you know, and sometimes you might find yourself questioning like, dang, I put all this off, like, am I going going to get that reward, you know, and, you know, what What can boost your faith is the signs of the times that's coming, you know, because Yahweh Shai said, you know, uh, um, he kind of gave an example, uh, he was like, when you see these things, then you know that the end has come, you know, and we know that, we know it's coming, man, you know, it's here now, you know, but there's a reward for what we're, what we're doing, you know, as far as out there on the highways and byways, as far as, um, you know, forsaking this world, as far as not being close with our families, as far as putting away worldly dreams that you had in the world, man, uh, for this truth, you know. This is Hebrews 10, and I saw that, well, I saw that 31 because this is a good point as well. It says, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, right? It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of, of Yahweh, man, because he, you can't, no one can deliver out of the Most High's hand, you know, so when you sin, you know, the person who, like, I was just watching a, a, a brother, um, his YouTube channel is called GMS Humble, Humble Thyself, uh, GMS Humble, uh, GMS Space Humble Thyself or something like that, uh, Benjamin, Benjamin brother, um, he was saying that, you know, uh, he said, "You, you know, you, uh, the only person that can deliver you out of trouble is the one that puts you into trouble, you know, which is the Most High, you know. No one can deliver you out of his, out of His hand because He controls everything. So that's why you would want to have a good foundation with the Most High. You would want to be on the Most High's good side, man. You would want Him to direct your steps in the, in in for you to go the right way, you know." Hebrews ten and thirty two says, "But call to remembrance the former days in which." After ye were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of fight of afflictions, partly while ye were made a gazing stock both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly while ye became companions of them that were so used. Right. So when we basically when you took a fall from the world and you rise in its truth, you know the world looked at you as a as a game, looked at us as gaze. They they gay, they looked at us as nothing. You know. Looked at us as like dung, really. You know, we made a spectacle, man. We were, you know, especially out on the highways and byways, you know, how people look at us and shake their head and walk away and things like that nature. But the multitude is born in vain. Born in vain, the multitude is going to perish. You know, the multitude is, has a great judgment, which is that fire, man. You know, partly while as you, oh, I read that slot. This is 34. It says, For ye had compassion of me and my bonds and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods. And part of that spoiling of your goods is the things that you took, you uh, walked away from in this in this earth. You know, like Yahweh Shai, it was a story, and a rich man had came up uh, to Yahweh Shai. Was basically asking him how can he uh, make it to the kingdom, or roughly paraphrasing. Um, Yahweh Shai said, you know, get get rid of all your uh, riches and give it to the poor, and come follow me. And 
Dude didn't want to do it, man. He was, you know, he didn't. He was like, nah, you know. Walked away. Uh, what you say? He walked away. Um, basically, he was fucked up when he walked away. You know. It says, um, if I'm not mistaken, it says, uh, for you had compassion of me and my bonds and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye in heaven have a better and enduring substance, right? Knowing in yourself that you have a uh, better in, in heaven. Yes, you have a better and enduring substance, right? Because we have a kingdom to come. You know, we have a kingdom. We're going to govern the world. You know, we're going to get galaxies and things of that nature. We're going to get different planets. Have see, and, and it's never going to, it's never going to be overthrown, man. It's going to be uh, forever. You know. So that means we're going to rule over the heathen, man, because, you know, they were made for us anyway. We are the princes of power, Yasharala, man, which is. The, the the king is Yahweh, you know, and right under Yahweh Shai is us, man, the elect, which we're joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, our brother. For ye had compassion of me and my bonds and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye and ye have in heaven a better and enduring substance. Cast not away therefore your confidence, right? Don't cast away your confidence in, this, uh, in what you're doing, as long as you're doing the right thing, you know? Which had the great recompense of reward because you have confidence in what you're doing. You know, you're not going to fold, really. You're not going to fold. You got confidence, man. You walk with your chest out humbly, but you got confidence in what you're doing. Which had a great recompense of reward for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise, right? After we do the will of the Most High, we might see the promise. And what part of that promise? What's part of that promise? Part of that promise is the kingdom, man. For yet a little while. And he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Right. He that shall come will come. And who's coming? You have a shy. You know, Lord willing, he on his on his way now so we can get up on out of here. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, right, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Right. Any man in the scriptures also tell you any man who look back is not fit for the kingdom. You know, any man who look back is not fit for the kingdom. Now, it's hard. You know, it, you know, it get hard, you know. It get hard, you know, but you have to stay in it. You got to endure, man. That, you know, you got to walk through it. You know, pray that the most high get you through it. And I pray that the most high get me through through every day. You know, you never know what you're going to wake up and have to face in that day. So when you, you know, I advise the brothers when they wake up, as soon as they wake up, they pray, man. I know, you know, the Lord got it mapped out on what you're going to do. You know what I mean? But because he sells the instructions when you sleep, but. You know, when you wake up in the morning, just pray for strength to, to get you through that through that day. And whatever you got to fight in that day, you know, just pray you get through it, man. You know, because you never know what the day going to bring. You know, when you, whatever time brothers wake up, you know, whether it be 8 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning. You never know what that day got prepared for you, man. You know, it might be a cool day, cool, calm day. It might be a happy day. It might be a, a fun day. It might be a day where... You know, you didn't have to fight as much demons, you know, and then you got other days where your demon, you know, your girl is tripping or, you know, they tripping at the job and, you know, it, all kind of shit, man. You might get into a car wreck and it's, 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 it's crazy, man, because you got ups and downs in it. You know, you got ups and downs, so you got to pray that the most high gets you through through that day, man. You know, um. No, no, uh, this is 30. I'm gonna start back at 38. It says, Um, now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but them that believe, believe to the saving of the soul, right? It says, But we are not of, of them who draw back. Now, let's, uh, Look up that uh warp edition real quick. I'm tripping. Bear with me one second again. Let me see. Come on, man. Okay, here we go. 
Expedition. Not even gonna say it. Um, but the definition of perdition is destroying utter destruction of vessels, a per perishing ruin, destruction of money, the destruction which consists of eternal misery and hell. So let's go back to the scripture. It says, But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but them that believe to saving of the soul. Right. So we're not of them that draw back into perdition. You know? Which is e eternal hell, man. You draw back, you know, go back into this world. You know, you, you know, you got that fire coming for you, man. You know? It's evident. You know what I mean? Um, another scripture I want to grab is uh, Matthew 6 and 33. Real quick. This is Matthew 6, verse 33. It says, But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High, and the righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Right, so you seek the seek the kingdom of the Most High. Not only is all the things that are explained up here going to be added on to you, which is and it's beautiful because it says, uh, it says, uh, it says, for all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye the first of the first. The kingdom of the Most High and His righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Right, you know that's why I said earlier, take no thought on tomorrow or what tomorrow may bring. That's what the scriptures say. You know, as long as we put in this this, uh, as long as you put in the kingdom first, you, we shouldn't fear. We shouldn't have. We shouldn't fear. You know, we shouldn't fear. The Most High is not. Uh, he's not going to forget our labor of love, man. Let's see if I can get. I think it's spelled oh. right here, Hebrews 6 and 10. It says, For the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Right? Oh, it was in this, yeah, Hebrews. You know? It says, and we desire that every one of you do shoot the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. You know, so everything links up. You know, he's not righteous to forget our labor of love, man. He's not going to, um, he's not going to leave us out here to dry, man. You know, you know, what kind of protection, you know, can, can we call that? You know, there ain't no protection, you know, but he going to protect us, man. You know, he sent us out here to do his do his work, you know. And and it's beautiful that we gotta we get a chance to do it. It's beautiful that we called. He did us a favor. You know? <laughs> like if you think about it, you know what I mean? Through Yahweh Shai, man, we was we got I mean Yahweh Shai uh had to get sacrificed basically so that we uh we can we us being elected in one third, we can have that connection back with the most high, man. And that's beautiful. You know, so we're, I, I don't like to say lucky, but we're blessed, man. Lord willing, we be those men. Lord willing, I'd be part of that number. And if we are that those men, man, we're blessed, you know, and we ought to be thankful, you know. And in due time, we're going to be extremely thankful, you know. Like scriptures in Psalm says, you know, especially in the time of martial law, the scripture in Psalm says, you know, 10,000 is a father by that right side. Roughly paraphrased, 10,000 shall fall by thy right side, and then 10,000 shall fall by thy left side, but none shall no harm shall touch thee. You know, that's when you're going to be like, oh, man, like, I'm glad I did this work. You know, that's when it's, it's going to show, like, okay, like, I did this work. Like, you know, in the time of my liberty, I did this work. You know? And that's beautiful. This is Sirach 2 and 10. It says... Uh, I'm gonna start at I'll start at 
6, it says, Believe in him, and he will help thee order thy way aright, and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. Well, I want to start at 4. So like it says, Sirach 2 and 4 says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low state. And right now, we are changed to a low state. You know, no brothers got individual things that they deal with, but as a whole, as men, you know, being in this truth, you know, we are changed to a low state right now. You know, scriptures just told you we made a gaze and stopped working, paying, paying with those that are turned upside down. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, and he will help thee order thy way aright, and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, at least ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe in him, and your reward shall not fall. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and everlasting joy and mercy. And look at Salakia, look at the generations of old, and see that ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or that any abide in his fear and was forsaken. Or whom did he ever despise that caught upon him? Right. It says, look at the generations of old, you know, and look, look, did he ever forsake any, any, any of the men who trusted in him? No, he didn't. So why would he forsake us? You know, and we trust in him. Why would, why, do, why would he forsake us? I know brothers got testimonies because I got testimonies where I was delivered, you know, multiple times, man. You know, so I know the flesh sometimes can get the best of you. You know, but you always got to rebuke it, man. The flesh always like to let doubt creep in you, but you got to rebuke it. You know, the Most High is powerful through all things. He can do all things, man. You know, he can do all things, you know. There's nothing he can't do. There's nothing impossible with the Most High, man. You know, but with that, you know, it was a quick video. Uh, just want to let brothers know that it's a reward for what we're doing. You know, it's a reward for what we're doing in, in, in due time. You know, low willing, I'd be part of the number, you know, 144,000 and one third. Um, you know, in due time, we will see, you know, that what we did, our award, what we did uh, right now is going to pay off. And what we did right now, you know, the Lord's, you know, low willing we endure, the Lord is going to give us uh, a reward, man. And that reward to the times coming is protection and ultimately salvation. And after that, the kingdom, you know. So with that, I want to say Mawatala, Babo, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And I want to tell you, Akim, Shalom, keep pushing.